Hello, it's Miss Barb with 4-H. Today we're going to look at how to do container gardening. Whether you do flowers or you do vegetables or you can do a combination. First thing is you need to look at your labels. All of your plants have a label on them and it tells you what kind of light they need. If it says full sun, that is six hours or more of sun. If it says shade, that's four hours or less. And if it says partial sun, then it's in the four to six hour range. So when you're planning to put a container together, make sure you're getting plants that have the same light need. It would be a disaster if you had a shade flower in the midst of your sunflower. Now, what we have is the potting soil, the pot, or what type of container you want, and your combination of plants. Always use a potting soil. Do not go out to your garden and simply dig your soil from there. The soil in your garden has insects in it, it may have different chemicals, it may have some type of a disease in it, and that will ruin your container. It might not affect your garden as much because there's enough room for it to be spread out, but in a container, anything that's in the soil is going to be concentrated. So make sure you're using a potting soil of some type. You put that in, and then after you get it in, and I'm just going to put in the bag and all because when I leave here, I don't want the soil all over the inside of my car. So you have that in there. Have a container, a size that can hold however many plants you're putting in. The first plant you want is called a thriller. And that's going to be a, long, a taller plant. If you want to do vegetables, a tomato will be great for your thriller. Or if you're doing flowers, something like a lantana that draws in the pollinators. So you can put your thriller either in the middle or you, if your pot or container is going to be near a wall or a fence, you can put your thriller to the back of it. After you have your thriller in, then you want what are called fillers. Marigolds are the perfect filler. The reason is marigolds cause the harmful insects to stay away. Your pollinators will still come in, but it helps protect the plant. I would only put probably in this size container about two or three marigolds at the most. If you have tomatoes, marigolds are perfect too. So, uh, you know, it's a good one. If you want to do all leaves, there are pretty plants that you can use for that. Look for one that says mounding, and that will tell you it's a filler type. And then comes the spiller. This, I'm using thyme. Your herbs are perfect, and the thyme is one that grows down like a waterfall. So then you would have your tall plant, your mound of plants, and one hanging down. All of these are full sun. If I put the tomato in, I would end up with the marigolds to protect my tomato from the insects, and my thyme that would be another herb. I could also put basil back here and have a tall herb and then the marigolds and the thyme for my spiller. It makes a beautiful container. It's a way that you can grow vegetables on your patio and you can have pretty flowers. So you can do a mixture however you prefer. When you're choosing your plants, these cards are important because they're going to tell you also how they grow. And it may say that the maturity size, for instance, might be 16 to 20 inches, this one says. 
that would mean it's a thriller. Your thrillers are going to be your taller plants. This one says it's a trailing plant. A trailing one is going to hang down. This is also a perennial, which means it will come back every year. It survives the winter here. And this is a mounding plant. So that means with the mounds that it's not going to get as tall. You can also read, and it gives you the exact height. On this one, it says it's going to get about eight inches tall. So with the eight inch, and this one about 20 inches. You see the difference in height. This stays low and just hangs down. So then you have your thriller, your filler, and your spiller. Okay. If you have questions about anything that's horticulture related, you can call your local extension office and there are horticulturists there who will answer your questions. If you want ideas, you can go to the library. There's great books on how to grow things. This is a fun outdoor activity for the summer. And if you put vegetables or herbs in, you can have fun cooking and eating what you grew. Have a wonderful summer and try to grow something beautiful in your yard.